രാമൻ ചന്ദ്രശേഖര വെങ്കട രാമൻ വാസ് ആൻഡ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഫിസിസ്റ്റ് ഹി വാസ് പോപ്പുലർലി നോൺ ആസ് സി വി രാമൻ ഹി വാസ് ബോൺ ഓൺ സെവൻ നവംബർ തിരുച്ചിറപ്പള്ളി രാമൻ ബോൺ ടു എ തമിഴ് ബ്രാഹ്മിൻ പാരൻസ് ഹിസ് ഫാദർ വാസ് എ ഫിസിക്സ് ടീച്ചർ ഇൻ എ കോളേജ് ഹിസ് ഫാദേഴ്സ് നെയിം വാസ് ചന്ദ്രശേഖര രാമനാഥൻ അയ്യർ ആൻഡ് മദർ വാസ് പാർവതി അമ്മാൾ He was the second of eight siblings. Raman was a brilliant student. Raman passed his matriculation at the age of 11 and after that his parents sent him abroad for higher studies. In 1902 he joined Presidency College in Madras. After 2 years he did degree from the University of Madras and secured gold medals in physics and English He published the first scientific paper on topic unsymmetrical diffraction bands due to a rectangular aperture at the age of 18 in the British Journal In 1928 February 28th the Raman effect was discovered the Indian government celebrated this day as National Science Day in 1954 the government of India awarded him the first Bharat Ratna its highest civilian award In 1913 he got Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the scattering of light and for the discovery effect Discovery of the scattering of light led to the development of a simple alternative to infrared spectroscopy which is called as Raman spectroscopy He was the first Asian person to receive a Nobel prize in the branch of science Some of the light that is deflected changes in wavelength this phenomena is now called Raman scattering effect Raman scattering and is the result of Raman effect Raman also explained the blue color of the ocean was the result of scattering of sunlight by the molecules of the water In 1933 Raman charged as the director of the Indian Institute of Science at Bangalore In 1943 he founded the Raman Research Institute in the same place Treat me right you will see the light treat me wrong and you will be gone is the famous quotes by Raman to younger generation His wife name was Lokasundari Amal married on 6 May 1907 Raman married Lokasundari Amal when she was 13 years old He died on 21 November 1970 at the age of 82 due to cardiac arrest before two days of his death he told one of his student do not allow the journals of the academy to die 
for they are the sensitive indicators of the quality of science being done in the country and whether science is taking root in it or not thank you for watching